Yo, what is up all my beautiful subscribers and the people down on TGB? Um, hello. And uh, right now you're watching uh, Team Fortress 2 commentary. And this is on the map upwards, and I don't really use a specific class. You'll see that I use a demo man right now. I, I don't know if I use Spy or not. I use Pyro. Um, yeah, I use a bunch of different classes. And uh, I'm playing with two of my subscribers in this video. And uh, yeah, if you want to add me on Steam, just ask me in the comments and you can add me if you want to. I'm not like uh, one of those people who, you know, don't play, you know, don't, you know, respond to the people. But anyways, one of the, uh, one of the people that I'm playing with actually suggested the, uh, the topic for this video. And uh, this topic I'm about to talk about is, uh, you know, something that I can really re relate to. And this is some, this is what I, I, I want when I uh, do these, uh, this weekly advice series. What he uh, asked me is, uh, he messaged me and he was like, you know, he was he asked me to do a commentary on uh, o getting overcoming shyness. Okay, he was like, uh, he, you know, he's really really shy, and he needs uh, advice on that. I'm not gonna say his name or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, this is definitely something I can do, you know, because if you've never seen my videos or never seen anything where I talked about my past. Um, I used to be really, really shy, like, about a year ago, okay? About a year ago is when I changed myself. Uh, that, that, that was the point last summer where I, uh, when we moved to Oklahoma from Washington, there was a point where I was like, okay, we're starting new. We're going to a new place. No one knows me. I'm, I'm gonna, like, you know, be the person I want to be, you know? And, uh, this is my first, uh, little advice on, uh, getting over shyness okay so you are who you are okay that's never going to change you are stuck with you for life you know you can't change who you want to be I mean when I say I changed myself I don't mean that like I, I changed my whole like you know personality I mean because that was always in me I was just too shy to be, be to be myself around everyone you know like shyness is the fear of rejection is the fear of being rejected by others around you and uh, just the people, girls, you know. P most guys, um, or a lot of guys, are shy around girls. Um, you know, some, a lot aren't, you know, because they, they've gotten over this fact. Like, you are who you are. You can't change that. You're stuck with this for life. So you can either, you know, not accept this and and be in, be scared of getting rejected or you can just accept that you are this person and that people won't reject you for being you you know unless you be a crazy psychopath weirdo then you know you're gonna be rejected because you know raping people is not okay <laughs> I'm just kidding guys <laughs> but anyways you, <laughs> you you are who you are just accept that okay you know your personality is is fine you are okay you are good who you are okay you don't don't ever think less of yourself okay because when you think down about yourself and everything that just makes it even more you know, makes it even harder to get over the shyness factor and uh it's just tough you know i've i've been there i i still am i mean i'm I'm not the most outgoing person you'll ever meet, you know? I'm not, like, just gonna... I don't usually just go up to random people, but, you know, it takes, you know, maybe a couple minutes for me to build that confidence up. You know, okay, you know, they're they're not gonna, you know, look down on me for being who I am, you know? You just gotta get out of this mindset of, you know, they're gonna think I'm a weirdo if I go up and talk to them, or she's not gonna like me. I mean, just, I mean, she, she won't like me. You know, you gotta get out of this mindset, okay? Because that's not gonna get you anywhere in life. I'm not, I'm not being mean, please. <laughs> I'm not being mean, I'm just telling you guys the truth, and you guys know that. Um, I'm just giving you advice based on my personal experiences, and uh, just kind of what I know, you know? And uh, I kind of have a story today, not really long story, but just uh, an example of today, of where we went to a new church, um, today's Sunday, um, we went to a new church, and, uh, we went to the Sunday school classes, so, you know, we went to a, with a bunch of different kids, and I knew no one. I knew absolutely no one. 
but I was like, okay, they don't know me, I don't know them, so, you know, they can't judge me y yet, you know, so, time to, uh, you, you gotta make a good first impression, you know, uh, most of them were super, super friendly, and they just, you know, came up to me, they're like, hey, what's your name, you know, where'd you move from, and, uh, they were, they just, you know, everyone pretty much came up to me, and, you know, just started conversation with me, and I went up to a couple people, you know, I was like, okay, you know, they're, they're cool, so, you know, I was like, okay, I went up to a couple people, I was like, hey, what's your name, and, uh, or, you know, just something, and just started a conversation, you know, talk about things that you want to talk about, and, you know, then the stuff will go from there, because what I always have trouble with, um, I don't have a fear of talking to people, I, I just have a hard time starting the conversation off, that's, like, I, you know, that's just my problem, my personal problem, I guess, and I'm sure many of you have the same problem, you know, not knowing what to say, or, you know, just having a hard time, you know, starting the conversation off. And uh, I have an example, um, in a little bit, hang on, uh, that I can give about starting the conversation off. But, uh, yeah, just, guys, accept who you are, and just try, before you can get comfortable and get confidence in talking to other people, you need to get comfortable with yourself. If you're not comfortable with yourself, how, how can you be comfortable around other people and expect to think that other people, you know, like, you're going to be thinking, oh, they're not going to like me because you're not comfortable with, comfortable with yourself, okay? So, I want you guys to get in this mindset of, you know, I'm, I'm normal, you know? Like, I'm not different just because, uh, you, you know, just get over that mindset, okay? Everyone's different, and, uh, yeah. And I can kind of give some examples on, like, you know... Approaching girls. This is one of the uh, things that a lot of guys are shy over, because you know I was always super shy and you know approaching girls and uh, it, you know girls can be unpredictable sometimes. So you know you're gonna get one of those bitchy girls that might just like totally just fuck you, you over and just like you know say something mean to you. But you know why would you want a girl like that? You know. If she, if, if a girl ever does that, which most won't, I'm telling you right now, most will not do that. But you know, you you might happen to get a bitchy girl like that. I'm am just saying. But most, I'm telling you right now, will not. But uh, I I've always had the the trouble starting the conversation, and you know that summer when I moved to Oklahoma, and I you know I I got out of that mindset. I got my first girlfriend, and that's when I realized that. I'm, you know, I'm not different from other guys, you know, I am, I'm, I always thought, you know, oh, other guys are good, better looking than me, and all this, and stronger, and all this, no, girls like me for who I am, you know, you, you gotta be yourself, you gotta be comfortable with yourself, because, uh, that's just, that's just a fact of life, okay, and, uh, I wasn't, surprisingly, my first girlfriend, I wasn't the one to uh, start the conversation off. Um, I'll do this for another video. I'll say this whole story later. And sorry for all the uh, music and stuff. Um, someone in the server was playing the music. But anyways, um, I'll save that story about my first girlfriend later. But uh, she actually approached me. And that's really rare because girls usually never do that. They expect the guy to do most of the work because that's just... That's just how life is, okay? Most of the time, you're going to be the one approaching the girl. I'm sorry. You know, you might get lucky. Like me, you might get lucky. And the girl will approach you, but that's... It's not likely, I guess. But, uh, yeah. She approached me, and, uh... We, we had a normal conversation. I mean, how ha just have a conversation like you would with your friends, you know? Just... Just talk. That's all you gotta do. And, uh... You know, when she left, um, when I had to go, I was like, hey, what's your number? She gave it to me. And that that's how it goes, you know? It's not, you know, weird if you ask for your number because she, if she approached you, <laughs> it's probably a good sign. Like, you know, that, that's probably a good sign that she likes you or, you know, whatever. But, you know, even if you approach her, just be yourself. And she will, even if she won't like you as, you know, a, uh, like, you know, like you, to date you, she might just, 
you, you're going to be, you know, good enough as a friend, you know, you might get a new friend and like having some girlfriends, um, not like girlfriend, but you know, girl friends, you know, is a good thing too, but, uh, you don't want to get friend zoned, friend zoned by everyone, but I'm, I'll, I've saved a lot of this stuff for other videos, the friend zone and stuff like this, but anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys another example, like when I moved here to Georgia, okay, not too long ago, this is a recent relationship I talked about in my last video, um, the, yeah, um, the girl that, you know, lied to me, whatever, but, I, you know, this is a new school, and everything, and I was like, okay, I, I gotta start talking to people, and this was in my English class, and, uh, you know, I saw this girl, and I thought she was really cute, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to talk to her, you know, like, I, I gotta build up this confidence, and I, I finally, you know, I, I say hey, and stuff to her, and then, um, we actually got the chain seats, so I got her to sit next to me, which was a really smart move. And, uh, yeah, she she agreed. She was like, okay, I'll sit next to you. And that gave me the chance to talk to her, like, a lot. Because we, we sat next to each other the whole class, you know? Like, for every day. And uh, that was just a uh, really good um, situation. Because I could just talk to her. And then, we, you know, we became friends. And, uh, you know, I, I asked for a number, you know, after a little while. And it just goes on from there. So, you know... Just talking to a girl and and just don't be afraid because who you are is not as bad as you might think in your head okay like I always thought you know oh, I'm weird or you know girl a girl won't like me or I, I'm not good enough like I know I know you guys think that too but who you are is not as bad as you think it is okay um it it's I know it's gonna take some time it's not an overnight thing but just to think about some you know think over some of the stuff you know kind of like do a life check you know and you know do I think this way or what and uh, maybe just look up some YouTube videos I don't know there might be some YouTube videos out there about getting over being shy and stuff like that and that, that might help you too but I hope my advice has helped you guys um just let me know in the comments if you have any other advice like you know just comment some advice you might have for anyone else or uh just let me know if um any of this advice has helped you out because that would that would if you tell me that this advice helped you out that would mean you know, the best thing in the world but uh anyways guys if you like this video make sure you leave it a like and a favorite and make sure you comment what i just said <laughs> and uh if you want to if you like me and uh these commentaries and stuff just head over to my personal channel um, the link is in the description, and, uh, go subscribe to me, and, uh, subscribe to TGB Combat, please, because we put out great content, yay, for all the TGB directors here. So anyways, um, this gameplay is coming to an end, and we win, I hope this was, uh, I didn't really watch the gameplay, really, I was just kind of talking most of the time, wasn't watching it, but it, it was a decent gameplay, and it was just kind of a, uh, varied gameplay, but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next week. Um, give me advice for other topics, okay? Give me topics for more advice. I'll see you guys later.